What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Okay, folks, uh, you see who this is. It's Mr. Warmack again. I'm in the building officially. And uh, check me out on all the various websites, social media right there, as you see. Instagram me, you know, Twitter me, do YouTube. And today I'm going to talk about something. I'm going to get my international politicking on. In four, three, two, one, now. See, the f I'm, this is international stuff right here. Uh, the, the picture on your left is the flag of Sweden, and of course, the picture on the right is the Palestinian Authority. And why you say am I doing Sweden? What do these two countries have to do with anything? Well, uh, on I want to say the third or the second. Uh, well, sometime last, sometime this week. This is well, I'm doing this on a Saturday. Sometime on the end of the, the, the ending of the week is the fourth. So I'm, sometime this week. So sometime this week, I'd say the second or third. The new prime minister of Sweden. I'm only going to attempt to pro, uh, pronounce his name. Uh, I said his country will be the first Western European nation to recognize the Palestinian state. What it does really, I mean, it's basically it's just a symbolic gesture, but also uh, the move provides like di diplomatic support, but it's like no practical impact on like, like as far as statehood goes for Palestine, it really doesn't help them as much. It's more symbolic saying, hey, we recognize you and we have diplomatic ties, but it doesn't, it doesn't help them try to form, quote unquote, form the state itself or Palestine itself. Uh, the reason Sweden's doing this is they said the, uh, the Prime Minister himself, is, uh, I'll, say, I'll try to pronounce it, his name is Stefan Luffens, Luffens? I'm, I'm sorry, my Swedish friends can correct me, but uh, what he said is the conflict between, this is his quote, the conflict between Israel can be resolved, can be solved with a two-state solution. Uh, the, and, and by the way, this was negotiated in, I guess, in international law. Uh, the two-state solution, he says, requires mutual recognition and a will to peaceful coexistence. This is therefore Sweden will recognize the state of Palestine. Now, I remember the Oslo Accord. Like I, I was like, like I tell you, people, I was a history political buff since I was younger. The Oslo Accord was back in I want to say '92 or '93, probably '93, I think. Uh, and it, and it, it began. It, it's that's what kickstarted the peace process between the Palestinian uh, Liberation Organization, the PLO, and Israel. And what it did is the Oslo Accord st stipulated that a Palestinian state can be formed only through negotiations, which they're not negotiating right now because some the Hamas will never recognize Israel, and Israel is not going to give up their land. Like I, I talked about this in a previous video with Hamas and the IDF looked that up. Uh, this is a good reference material. Uh, the, the, like when the U.S. broker talks back in July, they didn't do anything. Because uh, I think the U.S. asked Israel to give up some land too, I think. And, and like I said, I, I give Netanyahu credit because he has the balls. I'll give him that. But uh, there's another, con like I said, there's, there's a third conflict of six years between Israel and Hamas. You know, which is quote unquote a designate terrorist group by some governments and with all this they wanted that the like officials in the United States are saying you know Sweden's move would be would have probably the same impact remember when the United Nations recognized uh, the, uh, the General Assembly of the United Nations which they're worthless to begin with but uh, how the United Nations uh, General Assembly recognized uh, the Palestinian state this is back in 2012 uh, they would only be recognizing a, what, what is to recognizing a state, but there's no set border like parameters for a border. You know what I mean, like a physical border. You know, it's just a territory. And right now, it's under control of another foreign quote unquote country, if you want to say, and competing factions, and it has no real capital. You know, and and people, some people say, you know, it, it, it's just uh, it's just a uh, uh, a sham. You know, it, it doesn't confer anything. You know, all you do is create a, a, a international support, growing support for a Palestinian state. But at the end of the proverbial day, what does that really mean? Some creating support. 
great support is one thing. Yes, having the political... I mean, maybe they think by doing this, they're going to have other countries follow them and maybe put some more political pressure on uh, Tel Aviv to, uh, to to lay down and maybe, you know, start negotiating with the, with, the, with the Palestinian organization. And let me tell you, folks, there's two different factions in the Palestine. you got Hamas that controls the Gaza, Gaza Strip. you got the Palestinian Authority that controls the West Bank. And neither of these two sides really get along. It's like the old North and the South. It's, no, it's basically like the North and the South now in America. You know, the only reason we're, we're, we're together is because we have a common goal. But uh, back to lecture I am. You know, the problem with this is it doesn't change anything that's on the ground right now. Israel's still going to bomb. They're going to, and uh, the Hamas is going to pull suicide bombers if they do. Uh, it changes, it, it, it kind of changes the Western commitment to a two-state solution in the sense that since it's been recognized, maybe this will get more countries to uh, hop on board, but it doesn't put Israel, to, you know, it doesn't pressure Israel to, you know, what does Israel have to lose by not recognizing? There's no concessions on Israel if they don't recognize it, you know. Uh, and of course the support, you know, they supported the strategy of the Palestinian Authority President Muhammad Abbas. You know, who governors the land of the West Bank, like I just said. But in his speech last week, he, he said it was genocide. And then Netanyahu responded by saying he was getting li- they were getting liable and slander, but what they were doing is ruining out terrorists. So, but like I said, if you look at the, look, look at, the, I'll give you an example. The Palestinian Authority, they want, they want to do things through negotiations and they want to like have a dialogue with Israel for to get their land, whereas Hamas, they want to achieve their state through hey any means necessary. They're they are literally and this this is where you have to admire people like this. They are willing to die for their state, and and that's and they, like I said, they can't even get along for that. Like if if, if the Palestinians are able to broker a peace truce with Israel, how you know Hamas is going to recognize that? See, they don't even, they, like, like I said, you got two different factions that control two different parts of the Palestinian land. You know, a majority, a majority of the Western world doesn't really recognize Palestine, their statehood. You know, and look at the countries that really do. You got, like, Bulgaria, you got Cyprus, you got the Czech Republic, you got Hungary, Malta, Poland, Romania, Slovakia. You know, there's there's like a lot of Eastern Bloc countries that recognized it before joining the EU, but other than that, what does it what you gotta ask yourself, what does it really say that that you're recognizing their right? What are you doing to Israel to put pressure on them to go with the process? That's just all I wanna know. I mean, I thought this was kinda interesting. World news, you know, giving you a little politicking today, my foreign politicking spin. Hey, thank you to all my friends over there out there in Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, and the people, the nice, when I mentioned the, uh, the Oslo Accord, Oslo's in Norway. So, just want to let you guys refresh on that. So, thank you for watching. And you know, visit me on the sites. Go to my Facebook, Instagrams, the Twitters, you know. Send me emails. You want to talk to something. Like I said, we're getting more. We got more. We got better things to come in 2015. You're going to see. And I appreciate the love and I appreciate the support. And anything I can do for you people outside of giving you money, you know, let me know. All right. Peace.